Welcome to my white Blackberry Torch 9810 teardown. This phone fell in a pool and died. Now it does not turn on anymore. First step is to take off the battery cover. This simply slides off the back of the phone. Once removed, you will see four screws which you must remove. Do not forget to remove the battery before you start taking apart your phone. If your phone ever drops in water, you should remove the battery immediately, because electric charges from the battery can continue to damage your phone, even if it appears to be off. Ironically, this video of the BlackBerry Torch Teradown is being shot using another BlackBerry Torch. I opened it and could not find any visible sign that I could fix. I put it back together so I can show you how to take apart the phone and also talk about the different parts inside. Now that the four screws are removed, you will still not be able to remove the back, because there are two hidden screws behind the silver accent frame. To remove it, use a plastic tool to carefully pry it off. It will help, if the slider is open, when you pry it off, as you can see here. Now that you have access to the two remaining screws, you can remove those and this will allow you to actually open the back of the phone. Use the plastic tool again to carefully pry around and separate the plastic back of the phone. There will be many small clips that hold it in place which must be pried open. One of the more obvious ones is located on the inside where the battery compartment is located on the opposite side of the volume up and down keys. When you have removed the back of the phone and turn it around, near the top you will see what looks to be various metal contacts which connect to the flash, earphone jack, earphone speaker and what looks to be an antenna. Next you will inspect the rear of the phone. At the bottom you will see the main processor board. There are three mini connectors which connect the board to the screen, keyboard, and camera or phone buttons. Flip these connectors up carefully to free up the board. When you flip over the board you will see it is connected to a small single black wire which looks to be an antenna. You can easily remove this antenna by prying it off. There will also be a larger molded black plastic piece at the bottom of this board which slides on and off. It may also be an antenna of some kind. Looking more carefully at the main board you can see most of the chips are shielded inside metal boxes. This is probably to reduce the chance for interference. Unfortunately the small holes needed for ventilation to cool the chips also can allow water to trap inside. Here I'm pointing to the battery contact 
the SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot. Below all of these appears a small round battery soldered into the board which may be an emergency backup power to memory chips. Continuing with the rest of the phone, near the top you will find the vibration motor, camera, ribbon cables from the various buttons, and the contact switch bridge to the back of the case we already removed that had the camera, flash, speaker, antenna and earphone plug. Along the sides of the battery compartment, if you peel away the black backing tape you will find six small screws which hold the sliding screen mechanism. There are three screws on each side. For this video, I have already loosened these before. They are usually very tight and you need to use a special screwdriver which is even smaller than the one used to open the back. Here I'm cheating, because the screws were already loosened, so I'm just using a small tool to turn them to remove. But if you are opening the phone for the first time, you will not be able to open these screws without using the right screwdriver to apply a good amount of force. When all six screws have been loosened, the screen will drop away from the phone. The ribbon cable will slide out through the slot, as you can see here. Be careful to slide out the ribbon cable carefully. At the bottom part of the screen will be another two small screws. When these are loosened and removed with the plastic covering, you will be able to access the buttons and trackpad. In this video I have loosened the screws before so they came off easily. There are small connectors here which join the screen, buttons and trackpad all to the main ribbon in the center part of the screen that is joined to the main board through the slot. I have not opened the screen any further to access the LCD and digitizer touch screen, because it gets more delicate and you must be very careful not to damage the parts. If you need to fix it please see other excellent YouTube videos showing this process. Thank you for watching the teardown of my white Blackberry Torch 9810 which fell in the pool. Shot using another Blackberry Torch.